All right, what's up, YouTube? Coming at y'all in the middle of a process that I'm doing right now, but creating a mount for my tablet in my car. I'm gonna try to show y'all as much as I can uh, how I'm going to do it, the way I'm going to do it. Um, this is the trim panel piece. I done went and I basically created like a, a template, fiberglass template. It's drying right now. Should be completely dry. Yeah, it's all completely dry. It's completely hard. Uh, let me take y'all, show y'all what else I'm working on. Got big mess over here. Uh, I'm about to fiberglass this, make this all hard. This is what the tablet's going to mount to. I'm going to end up cutting the inside away. But I just wanted the the, uh, the fleece to be like pulled as tight as I possibly can get it. I'm going to leave a little bit of the fiberglass. I'm going to get a little bit of the resin on the edges out here. To create a little bit of a lip so that way... It won't be able to fall out or none of that. Um, working on one of the doors, too. Might be able to get some of that in here. But I'm going to mainly focus on how I'm going to get the tablet in here. I'm going to show you all the tablet real quick, too. Here's my fiberglass uh, the mat that I'm going to be using for everything. Got it all in the pieces that I'm going to be using it in. Just the tablet right here, though. It's a... Uh, let me turn the flash off. There we go. It's a Galaxy Tab 2. Right here is the chart. Oh, yeah, it's charged. Um, I changed the OS on here. It's Bliss OS. It's not the the TouchWiz, I think it is, that comes with this tablet. But whatever, I changed it. So now, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to be facing in the car horizontal just like this. Um, I don't know what that is. Like an ad or something. But, uh, basically this was going to be like GPS, I'm going to be running all the time over here, clock in the middle, then if I have music playing it'll be over here, got my videos and everything over here, so whenever I'm ready to play music I just hop on here, press play, and the video should just start playing. Then I'll have a Bluetooth to my, uh, Pioneer deck that I got in the, uh, console. But, um, let's get started. I'm going to try to show y'all as much as I possibly can. Oh, yeah. I'll show y'all a few couple extra things I did to the tablet to make it easier for me to uh, use it and all of that. Over here, I got volume controls on the screen. So, I can turn the volume up and down without having to use volume button, power button right here. But I wouldn't ever be using that almost any of the time as long as it's in the car. I have it there just in case I ever need it. Um, do I am going to be adding more shortcuts and all of that in here on the front. This app that's on here, if you want to download it, it's the paid version. It's called um, Car Launcher Pro. They have different themes and all of that. So um, I think I ended up paying for this theme too. I think it was like an extra like 2 or $3 aside, aside the app being like I think $5. So $8 in total. It wasn't that bad for me. It was just a couple dollars. Um, other than that, these tablets, if you do want to get this tablet, these tablets are kind of cheap. I did look up on eBay if I ever needed a replacement. Um, they only about like 50 bucks. Now, it's the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 inch. I'll drop a link down in the description. But, um, other than that, let's get started. Alright, what I, I will give y'all some tips on like how to get started with this. So, like, what I did was all I did, took the tablet and, um, I traced it on a piece of a half inch MDF, traced it, cut it out with the jigsaw. Got a good cut. Then I took uh, um, took some recycled cardboard from my job. You can use cardboard from almost anything. But I want to say make sure the cardboard is kind of stiff. But not too stiff to where you can't bend it. I want to say stiff enough that it'll, you'll be able to still keep straight lines. How that is under there. Because this is cardboard that's basically creating the edge. And the fleece and the fiberglass uh, resin and all that's going to make it hard. It's going to give it kind of like a plasticky feel to it but it's gonna harden it make it last a little bit longer um but yeah i'll say get some cardboard that's kind of stiff not too hard but um 
use that then I use the staple gun basically this staple right here I bought it from Walmart for like I think it was like three or four dollars and I got the staples too that was only like an extra like four dollars too so that was under ten dollars for the staple and the uh, stapler the staples and the stapler but um yeah then I got a fleece had extra fleece from my doors and all that took a little small piece to be able to cover it stapled it all around to the piece of MDF this is literally just like a piece of scrap MDF wood too because you're not really ever going to see the wood but um when do all of that staple make sure you pull the fleece tight real 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 tight you want to make sure you pull it tight that way you don't get like hardly no wrinkles I know I don't know if I have any wrinkles I don't have none at least where it's going to be at but I'm going to pull it really really tight to avoid I can show y'all right here because I have some wrinkles right here on my doors you want to avoid this but I have Bondo that'll fix all of that sand it down and all that I'll be able to make it flat but um you want to make sure you pull it tight all angles super tight that and stay when you staple it together you want to make sure you pull as you staple and put a little bit pressure down on the stapler because stapler is kind of cheap you do got to put a little bit of pressure if, especially if you're going to be using mdf wood i don't i can't speak on any other wood you want to put a little bit of pressure down as you're stapling as you're pulling the free, fleece and put a little bit of pressure on a stapler if you have an extra person there to help you to be able to pull it that'll be awesome that'll be a little bit easier on you but i did it by myself and it was a little bit challenging but it's possible for one it's a one person job but um i'm about to get my heart resiner resin and hardener mixture uh i'm about to mix all that up and i'm gonna start i'm gonna show y'all me paint uh not painting it at least applying it a little bit I'm not going to be able to show the whole process because I only have one hand, but let's get started. All right, y'all. Got my resin right there. Just got done putting the resin all over it. I'm going to let it, I'm going to go sit it out in the sun for a little bit, let it dry. I'm going to work on the door because this is my last paintbrush I have, so I have to work kind of quick because the paintbrushes do completely harden. Unless, if some, there's some ways, um, if someone can show me, there's a way that you can, um, keep the paint brushes or clean the resin out i usually just throw them away right after i'm done using them with fiberglass and just go get new ones but other than that i had to work quick show y'all this real quick just cover it completely around it all over here over there all sides so i'm about to go sit this out in the sun let it dry and I'll come at y'all. Maybe I'll show y'all a little bit of the door, but then I'll show y'all once this is dry what the next step will be. All right. Now, I know I should have probably told y'all this first, but I'm going to tell y'all, give y'all a quick little way I can show y'all how to make the mold. Basically, just take the uh, take the trim panel piece out. I put painter's tape across. Don't leave no gaps, no gaps at all but uh painters tape across from side to side leave a little extra basically to create this shape again then i took the fiberglass mat laid it on top of the painters tape i put a little bit of the fiberglass resin down that way i can stick the mat down and it will stick down and it wouldn't move anywhere you want to just get it a little bit across the entire area then you want to take and you want to put uh the mat down basically that's going to be the hard surface because the painter's tape is weak and ain't really going to uh ain't really going to hold it for real but throw the mat down you could throw as many layers i only did one layer i don't think you should really need that much more than that but i'll say maybe two layers at the max but i only did one layer of the fiberglass mat on here but uh the way i'm doing it i'm doing it so that way i don't have to relocate my ac controls and the size of my tablet, it'll it literally takes up. It goes from about here to about right just above the AC controls. And I don't have dual climate zones, so I don't have those knobs that slide up and down. So I don't have to worry about that. All my knobs turn from side to side. But uh, 
But um, after that, after you create your mold, let it dry. If you want to keep your AC controls here, one good use, uh, one good thing you can use as a guideline, where these two clips is right here. That's where, that's literally where the top, right at the top of this clip is where the AC controls stop at or start at. So you want to basically, what I did was, before I took this completely out of there, left it in there, drew a line. Let me see if I can sit it in there at least drew a line basically from the clip i drew it a little bit up higher because the tablet isn't that big but i wanted this a little bit up higher that's where i'm gonna cut at that's where the end of it's going to be i'm gonna cut all this extra down here off and it'll just be the top section up here is what i'll be working with so i'm gonna cut this off and i'm gonna come at y'all after i'm done cutting it also, you don't have to worry about taking the uh, tape off. You can if you want to, but I don't ever take the tape off. I usually just leave it on there. But um, let me go ahead and cut this off and get straight into it. All right, y'all got that all trimmed up, all cut up. So that's what it's going to look like on here. Go all the way to the top. Now, what I'm going to do to attach it to this surface is I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue the piece of wood to this because the tablet doesn't weigh that much. I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue that to this. Um, after that, I'm going to wrap the, um, basically wrap it all again. Put it on here. Fiberglass it. That way it'll be, throw a cup, might throw a little bit of fiberglass mat around the edges and all of that. And basically... After that, under here, the way I'm going to keep it attached to this, I'm going to hot glue this also to here. That way, it, like I said, it's only the tablet. It's not going to be, it's not too heavy. It'll be able to hold it. Um, so once that stuff over there is dry, I'm going to go check on it here in a second. It should be about dry. What I used to cut this was just a angle grinder, one from Harbor Freight with the cutoff wheel. That's you, the, also, if you want to get, like, real, like, fine detail, I want to say, grab, get you a Dremel with a cutoff wheel. I got a, a hyper tough one that I got from Walmart. It's only a 9 volt, but it works very good. Um, the actual Dremel one's probably about $100 because it's 12 volt, but that also works even better. I'm going to work on getting one of those, but uh, get you a Dremel with a cutoff wheel. That's how you can get the finer details. But other than that, angle grinder will work perfectly fine. Alrighty now, guys. Got it all mocked up here before I get to wrapping it and putting the the uh, final final gla fiberglass layer and all of that on here. But you see basically down here is where the AC controls will be at. Just enough space. I'm going to wrap all, well, just this piece of fiberglass and this together. And then this will be hot glued to this. And I'll test fit it in the car after that. And I'll show you all what it's looking like. But it should fit perfect. I just test fit it in there. And I had it all mocked up. And it looks like it's going to fit perfect. All right, y'all. I'm going to let the glue dry. So that way this can basically become one panel, as you can say. I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to wrap it, fiberglass resin it, throw a little bit of mat on it to harden it. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and hot glue it to the trim panel piece, and we'll see what it's looking like after that. But I'm going to go ahead and work on this in the meantime. I'll see you all as soon as I get back on this. Alright, y'all, this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, got the tablet test fit in there basically um, I can push it in there all the way but it kind of gets stuck in there a little bit so unless I can create a way to basically pull it out thinking about putting like a little pull tab in there I should be able to come up with something for that but um, if not I'll just um, what I'm thinking of doing is putting some velcro tabs on the back of the tablet and creating just a little slot for me to be able to just stick one finger in pop it out pop it back in each time but um other than that 
we get in there the um where the tablet goes it's all glued to the fiberglass template that i made let me take the take this out of here so i can show y'all real quick there we go uh it's a lot of glue in there but it won't be seen because i'm about to wrap all of this put it all on there hit it with the fiberglass and the mat one more time tomorrow i'll be throwing a little bit of bondo sanding it making it look pretty and then painting it but i think it's definitely gonna look good sticks up just a little bit but that's fine it's definitely glued it's definitely one panel i can hold it literally just by this and you see i'm moving it it's not going to come apart it's nice hard so next is wrapping this and then hot gluing it to the panel after i get everything all done and situated with it first that's, i think hot gluing it to the trim panel piece will be the last thing i do but let me work on wrapping this and i'll come at y'all right before i hit the fiberglass Alrighty now guys this is where I'm at with it now. I threw some fiberglass mat on it around the edges, just so that way it can strengthen the edges up. That way they won't be as they won't be flimsy because it is cardboard that created the shape. But um, this is what it is. Sun's starting to go down, so I'm gonna have to continue this tomorrow. Um, stay tuned for part two. I'll do part two tomorrow. I'm going to be basically sanding, bondoing and we're going to get to the panel and we're going to be painting it so um stay tuned everyone have a great day and i'll see y'all in the next video